Hi guys, it's Dan here and today I have for you a short video comparing the performance of Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 and MacBook Air M1. So as you can see I have the G14 here in white, very nice and sleek design. All the necessary ports are here, so for sure in that respect more comfortable than with MacBook since we don't need that many dongles if any. Pretty decent keyboard, although the backlight in the white version is not very good. And we have here as well very interesting Animatrix cover, which is not very useful but for sure very nice to show off. The model that I have here has Ryzen 5900HS, dedicated graphic card RTX 3060, 32GB of RAM and 1TB of storage. To compare the performance with MacBook Air M1 we're gonna run Geekbench, Signbench and then compare some export times in DaVinci Resolve. So let's start with Geekbench. I will start CPU benchmark on both machines and speed up to the end so you wouldn't have to watch the whole thing. MacBook Air is already done and looks like Asus is also close to the end. End results are in 1534 for single core for Asus and 8344 for multi core and on MacBook Air 1750 for single core and 7740 for multi core. So Asus slightly better in multi core and MacBook slightly better in single core. Let's move to Signbench now. I will start with multi core. We can see that Asus is doing much faster, so probably it will have higher score, but this is kind of expected since it has dedicated GPU. So let's wait for the results. And Asus is done. MacBook Air has still a bit to go. And we have the results. Asus has a whopping 11,494, which is pretty amazing for such a thin machine. And MacBook Air only 7,112. So let's check now single core. I will again start the test on both machines. This time it looks more event out. So I'm quite interested what will be the result. And on ACES for single core we have 1453. And on M1 we have 1493, so almost identical skull for single core and a huge difference for ACES in terms of multi-core performance. Now let's check some real life export times in DaVinci Resolve. So on both machines I have the same short 4K project with some titles and color grading as well as some audio. The playback for both machines was very fluent without dropping any frames and in a moment we'll check the export times. But first I will select render cache to none and also delete render cache in case if something was already cached. Of course to be fair I will do the same for ACES. And the timeline is in 4K as mentioned before. And now let's run the first export. I will leave the 4K resolution for export and the format as QuickTime with H264 codec. I will do the same for MacBook. And let's start. As you can see in the progress bar, 
MacBook is going much faster. For sure it will finish first. But let's wait to see the time results. And the MacBook Air is done after 1 minute and 28 seconds. And Asus in a moment. After 2 minutes and 1 second. So MacBook Air 25% faster in this scenario. The next test was supposed to be the same export but with H265 codec. Unfortunately I was not able to make it work on Asus. Apparently you need a GPU with 8 gigs of RAM to export H265 codec and G14 has only 6 gigabytes. So not sure if this is correct but this is what I found. So instead of that we will do the same export settings but instead of QuickTime format we will select MP4 and let's see what will be the difference. I will start the export and again we can see that MacBook is doing much faster even though as we saw Asus has much stronger GPU but I will get back to this in a sec Let's wait for the export times. And MacBook is done. And let's wait for Asus. And done as well. And on Asus we have exactly 2 minutes. And on MacBook Air 1 minute and 26 seconds. So very similar result as before. Ok so what happened? We saw before that Asus had much higher score in benchmarks, but still somehow MacBook Air did much better. So first of all I'm using the free version of DaVinci Resolve, which doesn't have the hardware acceleration. But that's not entirely true. Resolve for Mac uses M1 acceleration for both paid and free version, whereas on Windows in free version we don't have hardware acceleration. There is however an exception from this rule, because in the recent update of DaVinci 17.4, Blackmagic added hardware acceleration to free version in Windows when exporting with H265 codec. But as you saw before, I was not able to do it, because I need a GPU with 8 gigs of RAM. So if you are thinking about buying Zephyrus G14 or MacBook M1, this is something that you should be aware of. For gaming, Zephyrus G14 for sure is a much better choice than MacBook, but if you are doing occasional video editing in DaVinci, on G14 you will not see any big gains unless you have the studio version of DaVinci Resolve which costs almost $300. I still think that Zephyrus G14 is an amazing machine, and from what I heard, the 2022 version has already 8 gigs of RAM and GPU, so should be able to handle H265 codec. That's all for me guys, I hope this was helpful, if yes please hit the like button, and thank you for watching.